Hey y'all, what's up family? It has hey. been her here coming to you all live with another video. Today we're going to be talking about why we chose our location, why we chose the machine that we have, and why it's ideal for us and why it's not ideal for us. Stay tuned. Today we're going to talk a little bit about location. Not only um, about where our vending machines are placed as far as the location, but what's around it. The vending machines are here at a motel. One at one motel, one at the other, and around it are a lot of shops and stores, but not things that really sell what we have. We do have a convenience store that's located pretty close, but what we've been trying to do is make sure that we are selling items that the convenience store does not have, and if we do sell the same items, that they're at a lower rate or a lower cost. When we talk about foot traffic, we think about the things that are around your machine. You don't want to just place your machine anywhere. You don't want to place it in the corner of the parking lot where people aren't walking all the way across just to get, grab a drink or grab a snack. Here you have stairs, so the people who access the upper levels of the hotel literally will see our machines before they go up the stairs. The main office at that door at the very end of the hall, so after people are checking in as their, uh, for their stay, they're coming through that door and accessing, walking right past our machines to access the rest of the hotel. Specifically where our machines are located is surveillance by cameras at all times, 24 hours a day. So if you look over here, you will see that the camera is pointing directly in my area. So if anything happens to this one, this one, or even their ice machine, um, we will have some type of camera surveillance. So that's just something that was an extra perk for us, just for extra security and safety of our machinery and just people in general. We typically don't put our machines outside. We like to have them inside in a climate controlled area. However, this is where the owner would like, wanted us to have our machines um, as well as where the other machines are located. So in that case, be sure that when you're purchasing your vending machine or when you're looking at them, you ask to make sure that it's a vending machine that can be located outside. Some of them, it's not recommended that you put them outside, especially the ones that hold drinks because that can interfere with the refrigeration function. Since we have a combo machine, the refrigeration down here kind of helps aid to keep these snacks a little bit more cooler uh, just because it's in the same machine. But that's something, like I said, that's very important to think about. We are in North Carolina, so it gets very hot here in the summer. So having a shaded area in addition to that refrigerated portion of our machine is very is something that's very important. The motel has a lot of guests who are truck drivers, construction workers, people who are here temporarily. They might not have all the essential items that they need, so we're gonna provide it. This section here is gonna be used by us for more non-perishable items as well as like your hotel essential traveling items. The coils in this machine are slightly larger. They're about this wide as opposed to a, a chip coil that will be about this wide. So that's just something that you can pay attention to. Typically people use those for larger, bulkier items like cup noodles or the small, the prepared meals that come in a box. Travel size body wash that we might put in a box or soap or dish soap, things like that. Things that people might need and they can just grab them straight from our machine. So we offer multiple, multiple different purposes within our machines. If you see here, this is a Pepsi machine. This is not our machine. It's the hotel owner's machine. So one part of the deal that we had with the hotel owner was since he sells Pepsi products, we would sell Coke products. So if you look here, uh, we have Sprite, Coke, and Diet Coke. We also have some other non-carbonated options just because that's not provided here. We haven't seen any types of coffee, Gatorade, tea, water. That's not available anywhere else at the hotel. So this was a perfect opportunity for us to make it happen so that we can gain our money as well as benefit the hotel guests and anyone who uses our vending machine. You want to look to see what's missing. Look to see where people's hurt spots are so that you can find out how to slide your way in. And that's exactly what we did here. All right, y'all. Y'all had the pleasure of being able to be trained and taught by our fearless leader, Maya, who went through some of the most important things to think about when securing your location for your vending machine. But she's going to give you all a brief overview of what we talked about. Very important things to think about when you 
Think about the location within the location. Number one, security. Make sure that if there's anything that goes wrong with your machine, that you are able to either have you know camera surveillance or that there's someone around who is able to watch it, whether that be a front desk or this hallway with the cameras. The second thing is, think about the climate and the humidity and you know the temperature of wherever you are. Is that gonna damage your machine if you have your machine out in the sun? Something very important to think about. The third thing is foot traffic, foot traffic, foot traffic. Very important. Make sure that you're not just placing your machine anywhere. And if the owner or the manager says, you know, this is the only place we can place it, or and you know that that's not going to be a high foot traffic area, that might be something to reconsider. So never give in when it comes to that. At the end of the day, the point is to make money and to provide a service and to help people. So. Be sure that your machine is located in a prime area where it's going to be convenient for you as well as for others. Thanks y'all so much for watching. Peace.